What if I told you that before becoming the most popular streamer of all time, I show speed was just your normal kid from Ohio trying to make a name for himself in the basketball world? Well, that's why today we're going to be watching him embark on a brand new journey, as he's leaving streaming behind in favor for the NBA. Now pairing up with another Ohio-born superstar, that being LeBron James of the Los Angeles Lakers. But while Speed may be the king of streaming, when it comes to the NBA, he's starting completely from zero. Standing at only 5'8", he's the shortest player in the league. And as far as his actual skills go, he might be even further behind. So as a result, to start the season, Speed would be stuck to the bench, not seeing a minute of play for months, without a doubt being several steps below his successful streaming career. But inside, Speed's still just a regular guy from Ohio, and it's because of that success that Speed would eventually stick around. If he could make it to the top then, he can rise to the top now. So with his confidence as high as ever, Speed would get to work putting in hours in the gym, working on his shot, his handle, his finishing in the paint to a good enough level where halfway through the season, he would finally get his shot. Now checking in for D'Angelo Russell, number seven, I show Speed. And now in the regular rotation, Speed would prove that he might be on his way to stardom for a second time, averaging a solid 10 points off the bench, which is extremely impressive considering he was just a streamer a few months ago. And with the boost he's providing off the bench, along with the elite play of LeBron, Anthony Davis, and the other solid contributors on the team, the Lakers would dominate, finishing as the one seed, entering the playoffs with a championship in their sights. Speed is still coming off the bench, but he's finally made it to the playoffs for a series is against Minnesota. And with the help of Speed, who's providing a ton of energy off the bench, the Lakers would not only come out on top in the first round, but also the second against New Orleans and the conference finals against Denver, meaning that as a rookie, Speed was able to help his team make it to the NBA Finals. And with his storybook transition to the league, it's only right that his first finals is up against his hometown, Cleveland Cavaliers. Speed's the missing link. Apparently, the Lakers are heading back to the finals. And embracing his bench role even more, Speed would be sure to bring even more energy in these last few games, as he would increase his stats from the regular season up from 10 to 13 points per game, helping the Lakers take a commanding 3-1 lead over the Cavs. And with the team heading back to Los Angeles, a place where Speed is extremely comfortable in, given the fame he gained prior to the league, it would be over quick. He would come off the bench and put on one last show eventually helping the Lakers seal the title, now being a first-time champion as a rookie. He's gone from dominating the streaming world to climbing the basketball mountain, and being the most popular streamer ever, it's only right that he's won it on the most popular team ever. But if you thought it was going to stay this way, you were severely mistaken. Breaking news, LeBron James has retired after 21 seasons after winning his fifth NBA title. Without a doubt being a massive hit to the Lakers, as LeBron's opting for the storybook ending to his playing days. And as a result, the NBA world is now locked in on Los Angeles as they wait to see who's stepping up. Logically, the person that they should be looking at would be Anthony Davis, a multiple-time All-Star, one of the most highest paid players ever, and a lock for the Hall of Fame. But what he is not, is the most popular player on the team. A title going to speed easily, which as a result, almost unfairly, is putting the spotlight on him to step up, despite coming off the bench again in season number two. And with those lofty expectations, it now brings speed a brand new goal. One that he didn't really choose for himself, which is to prove the fans right by leading the Lakers to the title as the main guy. With that being said though, he still has a very long way to go. Going from amateur to a pro is a huge leap, and at times his shooting is questionable, he can't stop anyone on defense, and even simple tasks like passing the ball can be a struggle. But despite all of those problems, what he does have ironically is game-changing speed and athleticism. Getting himself to the basket with ease, resulting in him now averaging 14 points per game despite those flaws. But of course, it's not enough to fill in for LeBron, as the Lakers are dropping from the one seed last year to the third in this one, which would prove to be a major issue come playoff time, as they run into the OKC Thunder, who of course are led by Shea Gilgis Alexander. And while Speed is coming off the bench so the opportunities are limited, Shea would cook him over and over, eventually going up 3-2 in the series. 
And very late in game six, despite Speed giving it his all. Speed with the ball now. Speed about a pull. He literally could have drove to the basket. That's not his strong suit. Somehow he just chucks up a three. It would eventually end with the Thunder closing it out to eliminate the Lakers. Speed tried his best, but at the moment, he's not ready to lead the team. So with that, we're now moving on to season three of Speed's NBA journey, which means the league as we know it is changing dramatically. Stars are moving around from team to team to the point where Speed's going to have to face some surprising opponents down the line. But to focus back on the Lakers, the roster is pretty much the same on their end as their title run. Obviously, there's some new faces, but most of it's familiar, including the fact that Speed's once again coming off the bench subbing in for D'Angelo Russell. And as a result of his role staying the same, his stats would be stuck as well. Still averaging 14 points, struggling to shoot, defend, and pass. But unlike last season where fans were okay with him learning the game and were patient with him, this season would be very different. As the doubters are piling up, both Laker fans and fans of the NBA are hopping off the bandwagon. The China photoshops are running rampant and many are calling for him to return to streaming. But deep down, Speed knew that his playing days can't end here. Cause after another disappointing playoff exit at the hands of Zion Williamson and the Pelicans, Speed would use that extra long summer to his advantage. He's now four years removed from streaming, and at this point he's too far in to turn back now. But finally, he's seeing some results, as D'Angelo Russell is getting up there in age, officially giving Speed a major opportunity that he's waited this entire time for. Starting at point guard, standing at 5'8", number 7, I show Speed. It's a massive leap for him and major progress towards his goal of bringing LA another title, as he's now up to 19 points per game. But, in order to gain something, you have to give up something as well. Cause now as a starter, he has to guard other starters. And standing at 5'8", there's no amount of practice that can fix that. So while they make it to the second rounds of the playoffs again, at this point, the Lakers are playing 4 on 5 on defense. As they run into the Pelicans, the team that eliminated them last season for a second straight time. Because of that 4-on-5 situation, it would make it extremely difficult for them to guard Zion, who would lead the Pelicans to a 3-2 lead in the series. And despite Speed's best effort in Game 6 to push the series to Game 7, they would fall short at home. At this point, whoever's on Speed is most likely going to score. There's a lot to improve on, and Zion, yeah, he just fouls on him. Which means down the line, Speed has to improve even more offensively to make up for his terrible defense. But for now, he along with the team are being sent home again. And that's a serious issue now entering Season 5, where Speed's now being put under even more pressure. As Anthony Davis is entering his age 36 season, inching closer and closer to retirement. And while he's still really good, and in some people's eyes, elite, it's important for Speed to get as good as possible, as fast as possible, before that day comes. However, even more time would be wasted as now five seasons in the future, teams have been completely scrambled, resulting in speed getting eliminated by the Portland Trailblazers. Bro, they keep, like, I don't understand, man, who's even on Portland? While Speed's used to criticism and trolling from his streaming days, it's amplified even more as a result of his basketball shortcomings. And it's amplified even more when you consider the fact that he's LeBron's successor on the most popular team in league history, leaving him to question if all of this is really worth it. He could easily retire now with millions of dollars and return to the top of streaming instead. He can go back to something as simple as playing a mobile game or something as extravagant as traveling the globe. But in the end, all of it began as a regular guy from Ohio. And at this point, now six seasons in, he's way too far to stop now. So with that being said, with Speed being well into his 20s, and at this point a veteran in the league, it should come to nobody's surprise that individually he's making a massive leap. As in the past few seasons, he's moved up from 14 points per game all the way up to 26, as well as 7.5 assists per game, which are really good numbers that are finally resulting in an all-star appearance, which is his first accolade since his championship as a rookie. And he would shortly after be adding another to his resume by finishing on the All-NBA second team, proving that so far he's making the right choice by continuing his playing career. This might be the season where they maybe don't disappoint everyone. And they would, for now, make that prediction look really good, as Speed would finally come out on top of a point guard battle for once by defeating John Morant and the Memphis Grizzlies in the first round relatively easy in five games. But once again, he would be running into Shea and OKC, much taller point guard than Ja, and one who's given Speed multiple problems earlier. 
And while the series would start with Shea taking game one and Speed taking game two, Shea would rattle off the next three games to pull away. And you guessed it, he's eliminating the Lakers in five games, sending Speed home again. Shea is the one person stopping Speed right now. And these recent playoff failures are going to sting for a while as we enter season seven, where Anthony Davis is officially pushing 40. And while he's still a solid player, it's bringing a bunch of criticism to Speed for not getting something done sooner. Because while he'd finally make it to the Western Conference Finals, luckily avoiding Shea and the Thunder, he'd run into undoubtedly the best player in the league at this point, Victor Wembanyama, who's leading the San Antonio Spurs. Obviously, I'm not saying that Speed is going to guard him, as that would obviously be a disaster, but it's definitely a problem for old man AD. Because in his prime, he definitely would have made it hard on Wemby, but since Speed took so long to win a championship, AD's time has passed, and it's Wemby's league to take over and he would start by taking the first two games of the series at home. With that being said though, I'm also not saying that the series is over, as Speed, who's also now in his prime, would head back to LA to take the next two, setting us up for a crucial game five in San Antonio, where both teams are now two wins away from a finals appearance. And for Speed, who's gotten knocked down over and over since he joined the team, it would mean a ton just to even get there. In the end, when there's a 7'5 alien on the other team who has home court advantage, it's an uphill battle to say the least. As Wemby would absolutely dominate, leading the Spurs to a near 30 point lead. Speed driving, speed over to AD with the layup to cut the lead down to almost 30 points. They gave up 163, which would ultimately result in them winning the game to go up 3 to 2. And eventually, heading back to LA, Wemby would seal the deal in Speed's gym all but finishing the game off in the final seconds of the game. I don't get it, man. Speed's good enough for the regular season, but the, yep, see, he got blocked. And with that, Wemby's coming out on top to move on to the finals while Speed's falling short yet again. And with him losing on his home court a few wins short of the finals, it's without a doubt his most painful loss to date. And unfortunately for him, it's about to get even worse. Bill Russell, finals MVP, goes to Victor Wembanyama. So with that, we're now entering season eight, which is bringing even more uncertainty to the table, as AD, who we've been keeping track of at some point, is retiring soon. But nobody except for him knows when. It's becoming increasingly clear that the Lakers are about to lose out on yet another elite talent, which will only make it harder on Speed, who's averaging 27 and 12, officially reaching a new level individually, which is no surprise given the fact that he's almost a decade in. But most importantly, it marks a significant mentality shift for him, one that to fully understand will require us to go back to last offseason, where Speed found himself reflecting on his career to this point. Because of the expectations put on himself by the fans, it caused him to put even more pressure on himself to prove them right, which may have led to his prior shortcomings in the playoffs. Because while reflecting on his basketball career, it led him to also reflect on his streaming career where he realized back then, despite his individual popularity, he had plenty of people to grow and share that success with, which explains his mentality shift to lead the league in assists with 12 per game, which also explains why he would defeat New Orleans, Dallas, and go up 3-0 on the Timberwolves in the conference finals, eventually ending off the series with a sweep to return to the finals for the first time in almost a decade. As you can see, he is putting up numbers. He was already averaging crazy stats in the regular season, but he's moved up. And those crazy numbers will lead him back to where it all started. His home state of Ohio, where he'd have to take down his hometown Cavs again, whose roster has pretty much stayed the same since the two matched up almost a decade ago. Where in comparison, the Lakers are now missing LeBron, and Speed's gone from bench player to main star. And while back then it was an easy win, this time it's not going to be so simple as the Lakers would start the series with a win, followed by the Cavs in Game 2, the Lakers in Game 3, and the Cavs in Game 4, making the series 2-2. Two two. Game 5 is coming up, it's probably the most important game that Speed's ever played, and the last time he was in this situation, it was a Game 5 against Wemby who completely took over the game and wound up winning the entire series. But now having learned from that experience and treating it like his back is against the wall, Speed would put on yet another show in game five, finishing with 26 points and 14 assists to go up three to two in the series. Now being one win away from basketball immortality, but the Cavs still led by Donovan Mitchell would prove that they're much better now than they were in their first matchup. As in game six, despite being on the road, they would be in control as they would fight to force game seven. 
and this one would be best summed up by the final few plays of the game. Donovan Mitchell with the ball, Donovan Mitchell with the spin move in the lane. I don't know what he's doing right now. Good defense from D'Lo, who's still on the team this whole time. Back out. Oh my god, that's fantastic defense. And he hit it. Here we go, Donovan with the ball. Donovan driving to the lane. No way, from the same spot. Oh my god. They throw it into Allen. Allen over to Isaac. Isaac with the pull. What is happening right now? Cleveland's, Cleveland's gone insane in the last few minutes of the game. And with that insane run, we're heading to game seven. By far the most important game Speed has ever played, and potentially the last alongside Anthony Davis. He's come an extremely long way from being a rookie who couldn't get any playing time. But over time, just like his streaming career, he was able to make not only a name for himself and reach basketball stardom, but also completely take over a game seven as his passing, shooting, and finishing have all reached its max potential. And as a result, the Lakers are winning this one by 50 to win their first championship since LeBron's retirement, ultimately inspiring Speed to do the same and leave basketball behind as well, as there's millions of fans across the globe awaiting for his return.